Savitri, page 373. A deathless meaning filled her mortal limbs, as in a golden vase poignant line. They seemed to carry the rhythmic sob of bliss, of earth's mute adoration towards heaven, released in beauty's cry of living form, towards the perfection of eternal things. Transparent grown the ephemeral living dress, barred the expressive deity to his view. He escaped from surface sight and the mortal sense. The ceasing harmony of its shapes became the strange significant icon of a power, renewing its inscrutable descent into a human figure of its works that stood out in life's bold abrupt relief on the soil of the evolving universe. A godhead sculptured on a wall of thought, mirrored in the flowing hovers and dimly shrined in matter as in a cathedral cave. Annulled were the transient values of the mind, the body sense renounced its earthly look, immortal met immortal in their gaze, awaked from the close spell of daily use that hides soul truth with the outward form's disguise. He saw through the familiar cherished limbs, the great and unknown spirit born his child. An impromptu from the deeper sight within, thoughts rose in him that knew not their own scope. Then to those large and brooding depths when slow, regarded him across the straits of mind. He spoke in sentences from the unseen heights, for the hidden prompters of our speech sometimes can use the formulas of a moment's mood to weigh unconscious lips with words from fate. A casual passing phrase can change our life. O oh, spirit, traveler of eternity, who came from the immortal spaces here, armed for the splendid hazard of thy life, to set thy conquering foot on chance and time. The moon set in her halo dreams like thee.